I think you know, with with natural history, we're we're trying to show the beauty of the real world, and and being able to show that more how the eye sees it is always going to be a benefit. And to your average person, they might not pick up on the nuances, but we spend years and years making you know, these films, struggling over those little tiny kind of differences, and it's all those little image quality. Uh, decisions you make to make it that much better which makes the overall package that much more beautiful and I don't know whether your average punter would be able to say oh it's because I can see that highlight or that but they they will be looking at image and go it just feels so alive and real. A friend of mine um, was who, who doesn't have an HDR television I know that he doesn't have a 4k TV he's just got an HD TV he kind of watched um, I think the first three episodes of, of, of Jeff's show Our Planet and, and took to social media going, oh, my God, I've watched three episodes. This is stunning. I've never seen anything of this quality before. And he's and he's watching the SDR version. So yeah. not even HDR. And he could see that the, the efforts that the team had put into it, which I think is which is which I think is just, uh, you know, a great a great thing that, as you say, the average viewer who doesn't know any of the technology is seeing a difference uh, from that workflow. I wanted my children to see, you know, what I was seeing in HDR. I went out and bought an HDR television just so that they could see some of the things that I thought were just remarkable that came out of that, you know, that process. The one that really sticks in my mind, um, I was the, the film that I made in the in the Our Planet series is the Forest Program, the the, the one and the last one in the series and. The, um, the we 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 had these images that came from a, a, a snowy uh, Canadian forest in the middle of winter, which were done on an Inspire two with an X seven camera on it, right? And, and spec wise, uh, an Inspire two, you know, it doesn't stand up against a red in terms of its uh, a dynamic range and its pixel count, but um, uh, the when we took that through the HDR workflow, um, you were looking at an SD, SD image, SDR image, and then the HDR image on the separate screen was showing that there was these ice crystals in the air that were sparkling um, that you absolutely could not see in the SDR version. That in the HDR version, suddenly, like somebody had sprinkled fairy dust over the entire Canadian Arctic, and it was there, and it was sparkling, and it was different colours, and it was just so staggering that that literally made me sort of say, right, okay, my boys have to kind of see, you know, that um, that you know Disney's Frozen actually exists in real life out there, you know, and uh, we need to be able to show them.